Hi there, uh, this is Vince. I'm the author of the Beyond Response software. I'm sh going to create a video for you on how to uh, set up a PayPal filter um, so that you can respond accordingly to any incoming instant payments from your eBay customers. So if you're an eBay seller, this video is definitely for you. <clears throat> now if you're watching this video, you will notice that a notification of an instant payment came in. Um, I sort of set this example up. This is Johnny Doverson. That's that's my fake name for John Doe. I got really creative. So we're just going to skim through this notification first. We have a couple unique items. We have a price. If you're selling items from an eBay store, you normally have a set price. Um, you can have an item title <clears throat> and uh, I don't know some other some other unique items in your instant PayPal payments and the reason why I show you this is because you're gonna set up your opt-in filter to look for these items in order to know which uh, which instant payment it subscribes to what filter okay so we're gonna go over to the Beyond Response software and we'll start by creating a new filter so you go tools new filter and give your filter an appropriate title of PayPal one or what whatever you would call it, and then you can set your uh, your opt-in rules. So now we're looking through the email body. So the email body has to have something. So let's go back to the Gmail. Now the body can have 3955, which is fine. Um, if you're in uh, if you're in the UK, you're selling by the pound or yeah, the pound. Um, a lot of dot com, e eBay.com sellers would sell using US dollars, so it doesn't really matter. This number's not going to change. So you would enter, let's say, instant payment of thirty nine fifty five. Now you might think this kind of seems obvious. Any any anybody on eBay can simply send you an email that says instant payment of thirty nine fifty five in the body. But do you really think they know that you're using Beyond Response? I don't think so. Okay, now body has instant payment of 35.55 and um, now we can go down and I don't know, put your uh, your item description in it. So email body has that update, hit OK. So now the opt-in rules are set up. <coughs> you don't need to use redirect because that's only for opt-in forms. Uh, your display name would be like eBay member your name, whatever that is. Uh, the two name, of course, is a personalized message message field, so it's its name. And uh, there's a couple other things now that I, I'm going to look at here. Now, in the personalized message fields, I want to add three things. I'm going to add item URL. I'm going to add PayPal URL, and I'm going to add eBay ID. Now, this is going to eventually extract these these uh, items from the from the incoming instant payment notification so that you can put them in the body of your emails using the field name surrounded by your delimiter to let's say do a feedback request or you know if you want to give them their PayPal link or whatever it was so you have these three now remember this might look fuzzy on YouTube but all there's a write up underneath this video so you, it'll step by step you through the whole thing okay so extract keywords um, now <clears throat> if you look at the write up underneath this video it's going to show you exactly what to use so outside of this video capture I'm actually copying and pasting some some text and I, I did this all for you so that you don't have to do it so there we go I, I'm, I'm using this address uh, forward slash n all the way down to forward slash nn to extract the name uh, I'm going to extract the item URL, whoops, and that's another forward slash n that applies to your item URL. Those are both active. Uh, what else? Online at forward slash n. Now that applies to your PayPal, and finally from, and then that's gonna have a closing bracket, and that goes to your eBay ID. Now, if things change, like if PayPal updates their their instant payment notification email, obviously I'm going to, you know, 
update my help files because I, I use this too. So, so don't worry. I'm I'm on your side. Okay, so that's good. That's all set up now. So we got the personal personalized message fields and extract keywords from the body. Okay. Now you're pretty much actually done. You're set up. Um, so the next thing you should do, I guess, is create a newsletter. So go tools, new newsletter, and the title is going to be PayPal dash one because I keep my naming conventions consistent. Um, email subject. Oops. Oh, I guess that email name already exists. Your your uh, email names and your and your. Uh, oops. Your newsletter titles and your filter titles have to be unique, and so they can't even equal each other. Okay, so PayPal underscore one, which will should work fine. Uh, email subject: uh, Thanks for your purchase. Name. And now I guess the next thing we can do is we can browse for an email. So I'll just use this opt-in one that I already created. I'm gonna edit it. And I'll say hi name, uh, your item URL is item URL blah 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 blah. And you you kind of get the point. <clears throat> Go back to uh, let's assign this. Oops, I'm working on the wrong filter, aren't I? Oh no, I just didn't save it. Hold on. And I'll assign it to the right filter. There we go. Now, um, anything else I wanted to add in there? I, I can. I can simply extract the personal personalized message field. Your eBay ID is eBay ID. Good I extract that. I know this is getting long. Sorry about that. Um, and so on and so forth. So the next thing I want to do now in my in this account my gmail account go back to my inbox there's a notification uh, this is my Johnny Doverson account uh, it's my other gmail account um, this is the account that I'm going to be sending an email back to you so I'm just gonna hit my send receive button it's gonna log into my pop 3 it's gonna download and it's going to send sending so now you'll see that we have a, a PayPal email we've extracted the email address of the person we've got their name we've got the item URL we've got the PayPal URL down here in the, in the personal message fields we've got their eBay ID now that's pretty good because over here in the in the Johnny Doverson inbox we just got eBay your name which is you Thanks for your thanks for your purchase, Johnny Doverson. Your item URL is this. Your eBay ID is this. So now you've just created an, an instant notif uh, an instant response, a thank you letter if you deliver ebook products, you name it. You've just created uh, an autoresponder for PayPal instant payments. Very slick. People love it. They'll give you great feedback for it. <coughs> um, yeah. So that's pretty much the PayPal video. Uh, there's many other videos at www.beyondresponse.com forward slash help. Um, I'm constantly updating and creating more so that you get the full power out of the Beyond Response software and I really think it's worth the purchase price. 20 bucks a month, this will help you run your business to no end, really. It's, it's a great piece of software. Okay, until next time. Talk to you later. Bye.